five zone. Well, it's no secret. We live in a day and age where all we chat about is AI. AI this, AI that. But, well, many of us remain unaware of the dangers associated with these new technologies. You see, AI is set to completely unravel the way we view society and the potential to eliminate half of all J-O-Bs in America. Hard to believe, right? Joining us to discuss this and so much more is, well, a gentleman who knows a lot about AI. You see, John Sherman is a Peabody award-winning journalist and host of the new For Humanity in AI Risk podcast. He joins us right now on the Live Zone. John, good to see you, sir, and welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me, Guy. Really, really uh, thrilled to be here. John, you have made it your life's mission, if you will, to really, let's say, expose the AI risk. And in, in, in all fairness, I got to ask, what did AI do to you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. Nothing really. I love AI. I use AI all the, AI all the time uh, in my work, uh, personally and professionally. You know, I'm a, I'm a dad. I'm a small business owner, um, and I'm just really concerned for my kids' future, your kids' future, the future of all life on earth really. Um, you know, there's really two things that people need to, three things that people need to realize when they're thinking about AI risk, right? There's of course the deep fakes and the job loss and all of that stuff is very real. But the three most important things that people need to know, number one, the AI companies, the CEOs openly admit and the leading outside experts agree the technology they're building has the future potential in the near term to cause human extinction, right? Wow. That means kill all of us. The second thing they you need to know is they openly admit they do not know how to control this technology and they don't even understand how it works. And the third thing is they're spending all their time and money making it stronger, not safer. So I'm just a dad, a former journalist who went out and started a podcast because I'm really, really concerned about our future. All right, John, it appears as uh, both you and I uh, happen to uh, be in the same age group, if you will. And so with that, I'm pretty sure you were just as familiar as I am with none other, and I think you already know what I'm going to say, Terminator. Uh, this is a script made for a movie right out of the Terminator. Uh, we saw that happen there, and, well, in this case, it's, it's come to fruition. I mean, I often say to myself, if this was a movie and we were at this point in the movie, everyone would be like, whoa, 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 you got to stop. It's obvious what's going to happen next, right? I mean, the Terminator uh, was something that was done a long time ago about a future that is almost closer to real than not, right? So we're building these AI models, these alien intelligences. We're also building robots at the same time. And the plan is literally to put the alien intelligence into the robot. So, I mean... You know, I don't want to sound like an extremist or anything, but that's literally what they're saying is they're going to take this intelligence that they can't control and don't understand how it works and put it in this robot that'll be walking around. Yeah, and let me tell you, Arnold Schwarzenegger will not be the star in this real life movie. John, as I sit here, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of my viewers, because I'm saying it to myself, Okay, I've used AI. For example, I've used it to prepare for an interview. I said, uh, let's say we're talking Absolutely. about tires. I asked AI, hey, give me five questions I should ask my guests about tires. How in the heck do we go from that to the potential for AI to, well, in essence, kill us all? Great, great question. It, it's called loss of control. Um, and the idea is, is that currently AI is not as smart as a human. But soon, at some near point in the future, it will be and then smarter than a human. And if you have an intelligence that is smarter than you, you have a really hard time remaining in control. For example, let's just take humans and ants, right? When we want to build a highway, we don't ask the ants where we put the highway. We just put the highway on top of the ants. So if we build a situation where we build something where our intelligence level is at ant level and we build something that is thousands, millions of times smarter than us, that's not a great position for us to be in. John, a recent study from the Brookings Institute rated the D.C. region highly in a survey of metro areas for AI readiness. Now, that's a good thing, I would assume. But yet again, this is something from a, let's say, a national standpoint we should still be concerned about. Absolutely. A, a guy, it is insane that there is more regulation on your haircut on the <laughs> sandwich I'll eat for lunch than there is on the most dangerous technology ever created. It is absolute insanity. So the things we need are domestic regulation, right? There are literally like no laws about this currently, domestic regulation, um, and we need an international treaty with China so that we can get this international arms race to a, to a global suicide called off. 
All right. So as a result, I got to tell you, if uh, if I'm not the first, I will be uh, one of the first to sign up now to make sure I listen to your podcast. It is entitled for Humanity and AI Risk Podcast. You have an amazing lineup, sir. I got a chance to uh, take a take a look at it. And for the let's say the inaugural lineup, I'm hoping you can elaborate about who some of your guests happen to be. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I started this podcast for humanity at AI Risk Podcast. We just this week converted it to the AI Risk Network. Uh, you see it right there. And on there, we're going to have five different podcasts. They're all uh, for the general public to help people understand AI extinction risk. So one of them is going to be called unsafe mode. It's for parents. Obviously, so much for parents to learn in this time uh, of uh, AI risk. Another one is called last laugh. It's just me sitting with stand-up comedians and roasting the madness of this all. Um, there's for humanity where I'm interviewing experts and opinion leaders, all kinds of great content in the AI risk network. Everyone should go to YouTube, check up, check it out, uh, subscribe. Going to have a lot of great stuff because it is really on us, right? It is on everyday people to learn what AI risk is and demand from our elected leaders that they take action or nothing's going to happen. Well, I got to tell you, because of you, sir, you have now opened my eyes. And yet again, I truly look forward to uh, watching now uh, this uh, latest uh, in installation with regard to your podcast. It's entitled For Humanity in AI Risk Podcast. And we have been speaking with Mr. John Sherman, who yet again uh, opened my eyes. I would assume he's opened yours as well and kind enough to join us right here on the Live Zone. John, truly appreciate your time, sir. Thanks so much, guy. You bet. All right, guys. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.